goal is to let kids have Christmas. Foster kids get the uh, presents that they need to help them uh, during Christmas time. But a lot of them didn't even ask for a bunch of toys. A lot of them were blankets and just stuff they needed. don't have anything when you're a foster child. You get moved, new place, new people, everything. So just that little push from anything helps you. We raised $4,000 and thanks to everybody that supported and helped, it was great. We gave 80 kids a new Christmas this year. Morning, welcome to JHS Weekly. I'm Landon Johnson. And I'm Kennedy Derry. How much do you know about your teacher at Joplin High School? Some are everyday heroes. Joplin High School has more than a few veterans. JHD's Caden Storm shares their experience in the military transfers to the classroom. Lauren Curtis is a construction teacher at Franklin Tech Center, but what you may not know is that he's also a veteran who served for almost 30 years. Uh, I was in the United States Army. Um, I spent uh, over 28 years there. Uh, retired and I've been here for 11 years. Curtis says that he learned a lot from being in the Army and a lot of the experiences have stayed with him and transferred over to teaching. Lots of things really stick and and honestly I can tell you that I try in my class because the military's instilled in me uh, I bring on to my class. And I don't scream and yell at them and all that. Well, sometimes maybe. Curtis says that it's always nice to be honored and respected but either way he's proud to have served his country. Most military guys we don't look for appreciations or anything, you know. We're all just kind of back a little bit, um, but it's nice to be honored sometimes. Joplin High has another veteran in the classroom. Andrew Seavey teaches history. I was in the United States Coast Guard for just about eight years. Seavey says many of his experiences transferred over into teaching as well. I did a lot of training while I was on active duty training other people, training new technicians as they came in. My primary job was electronic support. And CV says that the respect for veterans should last more than just a day. We certainly owe a lot to those who have contributed and served and, and sacrificed. Veterans Day may have already passed, but the respect we all have for these veterans remains. Reporting for Jet HD, I'm Caden Storm. Please Lord. buy a yearbook. The class needs to sell 353 before they can post all of their pictures on Flickr. Seniors, be sure to send in your senior quotes. The 15th is your last day to do so. The Joplin football season sadly came to an end last Friday after their loss, after their playoff loss against Raymore. I had the chance to talk to Always Right and Landon Atherton and how they're going to come back next year bigger and better. Joplin High School football team has had many ups and downs this year. Quarterback Always Right tells us how he reflects on his junior season. Uh, our progression as a team, at first we started out with a lot of energy and a lot of passion with the game, but after losing two games I feel like that definitely took a hit. And Wide receiver Landon Atherton says that the only thing stopping his team from where they wanted to be was themselves. I mean, we had our ups and downs. I think at the end of the day, the only thing that really stopped us was ourselves. And I think as we grow older and mature as a team, that, that will improve next year. Coach Jasper was on a roller coaster all season long with his team, but his guys kept improving. The first game and the last game, I thought we did uh, a lot of things better. It had, this year was kind of a roller coaster. Uh, it started off on a high, you know, beating Webb City, um, and then we lost two in a row, um, then, then played well against, against Carl Junction. With that being said, Wright shares something he wants to focus on and improve for next year's season. It would definitely be not taking energy away from others and being selfish, like running our own routes. And so we had a little bit of that going on, but it quickly got solved. But I feel like if we didn't have that at the beginning, we would have probably pushed through some games and got some W's. Landon strives to give everything he can to his teammates, and he expects the same from them. One thing I would say that we strive to give our teammates is 100% effort and go out and compete day in, day out, and make each other better, because if you don't compete, then no one's going to get better, and then the team doesn't get better. 
Coach says always and Landon had great years this season and will be back next year to break out. Yeah, they both had really good junior years. Um, you know, always threw for over 2,000 yards with over 70% completion percentage and I had a 2 to 1 touchdown interception ratio. And I, I expect all those to be even better next year, you know. Uh, Landon did a great job coming in. Our receiving core was very deep. Now we had some injuries, but uh, you know he battled for playing time all year long. Did a great job. Um, does a really good job catching the football and uh, and getting getting north as we call it, or getting upfield after he catches it. We cannot wait to see where this team is next season. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Kennedy Derry. 2021 Winter Guard Team auditions are Monday, November 16th, Tuesday, November 17th, and Thursday, November 19th from 6 to 9 p.m. over at the Administration Building in the Gym, which is located on 10th Street and Pearl Avenue. Contact Coach Leonard, Christina Leonard at JoplinSchools.org or talk to a current team member on the Fall Color Guard Team for more information. This has been JHS Weekly. Have a great week.